How to help stray dogs in India. The street dogs in India are often left to fend for themselves and have to make do with whatever they can. They usually don't have homes to go to or pet parents to look after them, which is the reason behind them being dirty or eating scraps off the road. All they are trying to do is survive. So, the next time you see a street dog in India, remember that they are just trying to do the best they can with what they have. The dogs roam around the residential areas, looking for food to survive. They sometimes come into contact with humans, but they are usually defensive and suspicious of us. They have faced trauma and atrocities at the hands of humans, and they don't quickly forget that. Unfortunately, due to the stigma surrounding street dogs, such as aggression or poor hygiene, they are frequently subjected to physical abuse. It can also determine how and when their basic needs change. As a civic society, community dogs are our collective responsibility. Due to rapid urbanization, the animals have less and less space for themselves. This is why we have to find ways to coexist with animals around us. How to help stray animals in India. If you want to help stray dogs in your area, try looking out for local groups, forums, pages and connect with people who are actively involved in animal welfare efforts. Having multiple people working together makes it easier to coordinate food, shelter, vaccination and medical care for these individuals. Point one. Volunteer and foster. Volunteering to help your neighborhood dogs can not only save lives but also help some of them to find forever loving homes. Through the combined efforts of the group, the word could be spread for, adopt, don't shop. Fostering a street animal recovering from an illness can greatly improve its chances of survival. 2. Try helping cover the basic needs of the stray dogs in India. Food, safe shelter, makeshift accommodation during extreme weather, and medical attention. No law in India prohibits people from feeding street dogs. You can also raise awareness in your residential societies about the legal options available when it comes to animal cruelty. Under the Cruelty to Animals Act, 1960, it's illegal to deliberately maim, injure any stray animal. If found guilty, a case can be filed or the perpetrator can be reported to the local animal protection group and even to the police. 3. Organizing the vaccination and sterilization camp with local NGOs and civic bodies would really help as it would lead to population control and quality of life for the dogs. 4. If you live in an area with a lot of street dogs, consider outfitting them with reflective collars. These collars can provide an extra layer of safety for dogs who are out at night, as drivers will be alerted to their presence in low light conditions when the reflective strip is caught in headlights. Point 5. Please consider playing and petting stray dogs. This can help others around you also shed their fears of the dogs. 6. By amplifying social media posts requesting the adoption, fostering, or donations of medicine, you can help make a difference for these animals in need. Point 7. If you know someone around you who's thinking of buying a dog from a breeder, please counsel them to consider adoption. Adopting a dog helps spread awareness about indigenous breed dogs and reduces prejudices against them. Also, many people are in the dark when it comes to the shady cruel practices used by the breeders. We need to be compassionate to understand that all stray dogs a little food to survive. Instead of being afraid of them, we have to consider that they may have had past cases of human-induced cruelty and hence they are timid of us or at times may look to defend their area.